my god. I was frustrating finding a way to freaking rig an animal because I really hate rigging. I found this um, uh, Rigify Zoo, which we're gonna use that. And that one is in use in these animations, not a teaser. If you want to know something, it's actually not that good, but I'll show you. So get your horse, okay? And I've got my horse here. I'm going to put the link below what you need to uh, download first before you get started. First thing, I actually use these um, MB Lab characters. What is MB Lab? MB Lab is a plugin for Blender for um, making new characters and it's free. It's completely free, so don't worry about it. So just get that MB Lab, download it and and just put it into your uh, blender and then after that get this Rigify Zoo uh, and as well I will put the link in below it's um, it's free as well so all of these workflow is completely free so once you have those two plugins been injected to your blender all you need to do now is just get your horse right so once you get your horse now sometimes it might be there's gonna be a problem when the mesh is actually not connected same thing like this it's actually the hair is not connected and sometimes it can cause problems but we will see go to end panel and then I'm gonna go to um, rigify zoo first so I have this rigify zoo and then I'll click the horse one because that's the one that we're gonna use so that's a small it's okay I just need to scale it down our horse my horse so I scale it down like that. I scale it down my horse just like that. Just it doesn't have to be perfect, it's okay. But at least just follow the thing. So after this, all you need to do is just a um, make sure. I'm gonna go slash which it will isolate everything except our horse. And then I will select all vertices. I have a machine tools add-on which it helps me clean everything if there's a double vertices as you can see here machine uh, tools cleanup and I could just increase these thing faces you could you could download this machine tools for free as well but if you don't if, if you're too lazy to download this you could just you know select everything and then um, M I guess yeah merge by distance and then unselect it as well and increase this number maybe I don't know well not too much I guess and that be that just be nice just making sure that everything is connected well it's actually not gonna fix it's not gonna like absolutely clean sometimes there's gonna be still something not connected but that's okay I'm just gonna hide it okay I'm gonna hide that thing and I'm gonna select these rigify zoo horrors and click these boxes and then I'm gonna make it run once you click that and you'll see the magic happen see that it's is cycled of a horse running so you don't have to worry about making it how long you want it to be it's just gonna keep running I'm gonna make these frame to 200 which is um, I'm gonna have my normal frames because we're gonna do a manual um, keyframing but don't worry it's, it's not it's not gonna be that difficult it's, it's gonna be fun and so now I'm, I'm once you click that box remember you actually sometimes it brings you straight to the post mode so you probably couldn't select the horse so if, if you cannot select the horse just make sure that you in object mode back to object mode so after this I'm gonna go back to um, click this boxes I'm in the post mode and make it to rest positions once I'm at these positions I just have to delete this horse right and then I just wait sorry I'm gonna put it back our horse all right our horse like that just making sure it's um, in the right place so now I'm gonna delete the rigify horse click that horse delete it and open our horse and all you have to do is just click that horse and then shift click this bond and then control P just with automatic whites and if you go to post positions you will see it's running see that and that's it literally that's it 
this one's actually not causing much of a problem. Last time I was importing from Sketchfab and literally the hair is not sticking on the body. I have no idea why what's wrong with that. But um, if that happens to you with your horrors, <laughs> just let me know in the comments below and maybe I could show you how to fix it in, the, in, in, in Discord so I could just stream for you and let's fix it together. So yeah, from this step you actually got your horse, so you can just play around, get off from get off from this video. But if you wanna stick in, I'll show you how you can add your person and animate the persons or the characters onto the horse. It's not gonna be perfect. Listen, just just remember, keep in mind, keep in mind, it's not gonna be perfect. Right, so now open that panel and then you're supposed to see this thing with the envelope. Um, add on okay the plugin and then you get to choose use cycle engine or use EV engine I mean I guess it doesn't really matter you don't have to, you don't have to really choose like at this moment you could change it later so I'm just gonna use EV I suggest you to use inverse kinematics uh, that that way it just it will be much more easier for you to animate or to move around the, the, the character I mean you could use basic muscles or if you don't click this both you still get automatic rig so you don't have to worry about it but I'm just suggesting you to use <coughs> sorry uh, to use inverse kinematic it would be much easier for you to animate your character so let's just create oh by the way I forgot and um, you could see here the select you get, you get to choose Caucasian male or anything that you would like to choose just choose it I'm I'm using Caucasian male so I'm just gonna create a character now okay I got my character here and once you got your character actually um oh by the way I'm, I'm gonna hide this horse for a while so let's put this into one collections just make it one so this is what you will get but with low end computer just like my potato uh, cheapo laptop it's gonna be quite lagging um, in the first place it's just because the materials of this humans of this character is actually quite heavy so what I usually do is just I'm gonna copy this EV material okay and then I'm gonna shift a BSDF and then connect this BSDF to the surface and then use this material output and set this color to the same color as before. This is just a test, okay. So once you actually want to render, you can go back use this EV or cycles. This is what I was talking about, that you could change it later whenever you like to. For now, we're gonna use this one for a better performance for our PCs. And before you get started, um, I, I need you to Disable the subdivisions of the mesh of the body of the character, okay? Because that's just gonna make the perform the performance or the rigging when you animate it's just gonna be so heavy. You could disable this or you're just gonna delete it. And I'm just gonna delete that so if I'm gonna need one later, I could just add it later. So from now all you need to do is just go to post mode and then start putting your hands on the horse and blah 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 and stuff. Open um, unhide our horse, right? And then let's just select these bone of the human, of the characters. And let's go to the side view. Let's make it that way. Maybe that's enough, yeah. And let's go to post mode. I don't know much about this post mode, honestly, actually. Like, it's much of you must be confused like there's lots of these um, thingies but if you actually move it it m it moves the um, it moves the character uh, it has the limitations where it will go I guess it must be around here you could just uh, I don't know, click any bones and then find out where is the lag part so I'm gonna make the lag part go right here make it like that right maybe that's too much and then this one right here, you know, make it like that. That's much more usual, I guess. And then select this one. Doesn't have to be perfect, okay? And it's up to you. It's up to you. So um, make it that way, and then make it that way. Rotate doesn't do anything. So 
yeah, you already have this thing now, which is amazing, right? And you could rotate that thing. That's cool. And then for the hands, just put it there, put it here. Oops, no, put it here. The hand looks so weird, I know. But try to make it yeah like that, like make it a bit of a. <laughs> I don't know how to make a good postures. Take a look at the reference, of course. That's what you should do, but. In this case, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I mean, people are actually not gonna see it if you. I don't know. Put it that thing. Put it that way. And yeah, if you go to object mode, here's what you have, right? So animating it to be follow uh, the bones of the horse, actually, I did it manually. If you know how to do a better version than what I'm gonna show you here, just let me know in the comments below. So what I did is just turning this on and then press space and then just do that. <laughs> Literally just do that, trust me, believe me, just do that, that's what I did. So for example, I'm gonna, uh, that way okay so for example I'm gonna to go to right view and then make sure this outer king selected and then press space and G and then just follow the horse and that's all I that's all I have to do and then just do with with all the thing on um, with all the bones um, as much as you want I mean it doesn't have to be all of the bones but if you want to be more much more realistic of, of course all the bones gonna move right so do the same thing with this one G move it around I don't know make it like sometimes going with that that bad posture so right and then with the hands as well go to first frame space G yeah, I'll make it like that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's it. Same thing for the, the other hand. Go to first frame, G. Yep, that's it. That's so cool. And don't forget about the, um, the feet, mate. So, oops. Go to first frame. Which, wait, which first, uh, where's the lag, is it, is it this one? Yeah, so space G, move it around. Oh yeah, that is looking awesome. <laughs> and then go to left one. Yeah, that one, space G, then just move it around like I don't know I'm just making a circle here actually like just making a circle like that just like cling I'm not even sure if that's the right thing to do and as well for this one if you want I don't know just if you don't want to doesn't you don't really need to do this and then for this left one And don't forget you can actually animate the head so if you click this one on the top and go to first frame and let's say you want the guy or the girl to look right or to look left to whatever you like so of course now it's looking bad right and this is where the magic happens that you're gonna smooth all the keys where you are just gonna I'm um, sorry I'm gonna split my screen here right and open the graph editor and go to the first frame well it doesn't have to be really uh, first frame and go to post mode make sure that you um in post mode and select all a shift alt o and then alt o a couple times i just hit twice and let's see see that only twice alt o it makes uh the the keyframe much more smooth so um, i could just click alt o twice again and then it, it's just gonna make it much more smooth which is, is uh, I don't like it so just be careful not to do it too much 
and maybe this one is this one is enough now if you want to animate this horse and the guy to move around all all I did is just the easiest way again I'm gonna put everything this thing so like everything put into one collection so that let's just call men okay disable that and then men once you go to metal preview you will see your man in a horse a freaking move and such a, a nice animations and now all you need to do is just keyframe that thing I I just press uh, put that horse there and then I and then locations let's go to um, to frame 100 make the end to 100 okay and let's put it here I and then L and then don't forget T and then linear to make it move smooth damn and of course it doesn't have to be only just one horse duplicate it delete keyframes I'm gonna put this horse there let's make it a lot of horse because why not right let's make an army of a horse right keyframe there I L move it there I L don't forget to set it to linear and then you will have your army of a horseman marching damp I have a scene here to show you and basically uh, keep in mind you can actually use anything it doesn't have to be a really actual host like this look at what I did here just before this video I made this I uh, it's it's important from Sketchfab as well, but just the skulls of the horse. I mean, what could be more cooler than that? I mean, come on. So take a look at. I mean, in the solid view, it looks like this. It's cool, but if I go to rent mode, it's gonna kind of lag because you know it's heavy. It's heavy because of the the trees and stuff. But of course. Even with this heaviness, because I use collection instance, because we use collection instance, I use collection instance for the trees, um, for the horse, for the horseman, right? If I click render, let's just go make it uh, 20 samples. F12, how, how long will it take for us to render? It's supposed to be just in seconds. See, that's done. And that took us just five seconds. And we haven't put like um, I don't know some uh, some grass or any kind of thing, but it's already looking cool there. I mean, this is already such a cool scene with a uh, Loki horse, Loki. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.